let's um, let's just quickly think about the answers first, and then we'll come to the working out. Okay. X equals negative a quarter. Thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Happy. Even though it does look weird, it's negative. It's a fraction. However, when you have a look at what you've got on this, the original question. Um, for starters, I think we kind of should expect a fraction. Not necessarily that it is, but okay, there's heaps of there's a messy looking fraction to begin with. So I'm not that surprised that you end up with one at the end. Okay. Um, the working looks like it checks out really nicely. So I think we'll just let that one stay. Question two, 57 degrees? Yeah. yeah, sure, okay. And I got a question before about, um, about this. Now the button on your calculator, <laughs> the button on your calculator, I think it looks like that, doesn't it, right? Um, Cause it looks like to the power of minus one. Now, most people won't write this. Most people will probably say, is this what your working looks like? Cause of your angle. I named it, didn't I? Yeah, there you go. Equals this. Is this your first line? Hand up if you had this is your first line. Fantastic, thank you. From there, I think most people would just go straight to this answer, and that's fine. One of the reasons why we're sort of like a little bit dicey with this is that uh, this thing, we call it an inverse treat function, we kind of know how to use it for basic purposes, but there are lots of fancy other things that we don't have to worry about, a little bit like that other mode on your calculator that mean you have to be actually very careful whenever you write this. You guys won't get marked down for this ever. And if you want to put that in to, to the indicate for yourself, what am I doing with my calculator? That's fine. But if you want to know a little more about why we have, why we exercise caution with that, then ask me later. Okay. Uh, 57 degrees sense check, does it seem reasonable? Yeah, looks perfect to me. Okay, now the last one, before we come to the working, 186.4 square centimeters. Looking good? Yeah? Yeah. I got okay. 185. 185? <laughs> Different. Okay. Point, sorry, point 0.6 here? Okay, great. Now I'll just pause for a second. It's probably because I did. Yeah, it's probably because I did. Yeah, so where, where do these like minor differences creep in? And I'll show you where they creep in. They're right on the board. Have a look at the way that this was worked out. You can see every time you go through like all of these different lines, there's kind of decimal places hiding behind everything, right? Um, this is very common. When you have a look at tree and these angles, they often give you weird decimals that go forever, okay? But when you're punching things into the calculator, it's pretty normal not to put all of those in, and that's usually fine. But what that will do is it will lead to tiny little discrepancies, like 0.2 of a square centimeter, or even, even a little bit more, because if, um, what was the number, 185? Yeah. That some people got? If you think about one square centimeter in the scheme of this, it's less than 1%. It's a very small difference, okay? So that's why tiny little changes in your decimals will lead to tiny little changes here. Now, we have widespread agreement on this. There's a slightly quicker way to get this same answer. It's fine to do it this way, but this does cost us a little bit of time. There's two main steps. Tree, and then what's going on here? This is Pythagoras, okay? Is there a way we can avoid Pythagoras? Yeah. Um, isn't it just, you only need to figure out the width. Okay, so, yeah, so back up a little bit. Remember, I always say, like, read the question really carefully. Being asked for area, to find the area of a triangle, you need two things. You need base and you need height. You already have, you already have the height. There it is. So if there is a way that's possible, and this is what we kind of learned uh, yesterday. Do you remember when we were looking at weird bearings question, and we were all, most of us, were taking the long way around. The most important time, just like when you're doing an essay, right? The most important time in an essay is the planning time. And the most important time for solving a question is when you work out well, what path shall I take through. Um, we can halve the amount of work that we do, even if we get up the same answer. If we want to go straight to this base down here, I'll call it B for base. What am I going to do? What am I going to do differently? 1075 degrees. Yeah, good. So I'm going to use a different ratio because <laughs> these two guys are opposite and adjacent. Once you've got this side, you can, re you can rehearse this. You'll still get 37.28 whatever, and there comes your area. Are you happy with that? Yeah. 